Life can be so complex, so uncertain, but also simple at the same time. And you may notice that everything you experience through your own journey and in your own life, it's a mirror for what's going on within. This outside world reflects what's happening within yourself and it can guide you and lead you exactly where you want to be or exactly what was always available to you. But I think in order to do that, you have to find a sense of balance within yourself. If you look inside or if you look in your life, you'll always see good, bad, black, white, this or that, right and wrong, duality. You'll see two of everything. And I think once you go within yourself, you're able to find this peace, this love, this heaven within once you are able to embody inner balance. Welcome to Transform Perspective with Kyra Weathersby. I am here to guide and encourage others to have a transformed perspective as we evolve on this journey called life. This channel is all about self-awareness, spiritual transformation, you know, mental well-being and emotional well-being, and just lifestyle, your life, you know, bettering yourself, discovering who you are, and really just changing your perception, allowing life and what you learn along the way to change your perspective and shape you into the person that you are meant to be. Not that you aren't already, but Welcome to season two of Transform Perspective. Um, that was just my little spiel. Thank you so much for joining me and tuning into this podcast. It is truly appreciated. And I'm so excited for season two. Aren't you? There's so much to um, be excited about, especially coming this far. And if you have your own endeavors and things that you do, you know, when you get to that place where you've like, you know, reached a milestone, it feels so nice. And that's exactly how I feel about this podcast and, you know, changing it up. I've been doing um, this podcast and been on Transform Perspective for quite a while now. And I decided to kind of switch things up and change it by doing more of a traditional podcast. And so that's why we have this setup and I'm doing things that, you know, the way that they are. And I got through season one, 20 episodes. If you haven't checked it out, go ahead and do so on YouTube and Spotify. But I got through season one and I was like, man, I want to do a season two. But switch things up a bit and apply what I've learned from season one and being on YouTube um, and just life. Apply it to season two. Season two has a theme and that is journey to inner balance. So focusing on the journey within. Of course, everything that goes on within yourself affects your external, but I think it starts within, you know? I don't think I know that everything starts within yourself. And so journey to inner balance is the theme. Like I said, we have so much duality, the this and that, and it can be so confusing. Things are up, things are down, things are good, things are bad. But where is that balance and what does that look like? What does that feel like? Who are you when you're able to find this inner balance, you know, and really be at peace with life and with yourself? So as I learn and go about life and explore this and I'm learning to embody inner balance, I want to share that and um, bring you guys along with me and for you also to feel like this is a safe space to share. I'm super excited for season two, so definitely stay tuned for that. All things focusing on your awareness, spiritual transformation, and just your lifestyle, embodying your true self, being authentic, and continuing to transform and expect. That sums up a little bit of what season two will be about, but you definitely have to stay tuned for the episodes. And it starts with this episode right here, where I'm welcoming in inner balance. So what even is inner balance? Now that I'm talking about it and have been going on and on about it for this episode, what is that? What does that look like? What does that feel like? Well, I don't know quite yet. That's exactly why I'm doing season two. But if I can kind of sum up what inner balance means for me, that is being at peace. That is knowing who you truly are. That is being able to find 
a place within yourself where you're grounded, where you trust yourself and your intuition. Um, you trust God and you're just really free. You know, you feel free, you feel loved unconditionally. Um, and despite your challenges and the ups and downs of life and the duality, you're able to, like I said, stay grounded, know who you are and just be present, you know, and be here for it. And just really, you know, find that wisdom that life teaches you, you know, gain wisdom from it. And yeah, find that balance within yourself. I know that was a lot in one, but that's kind of what it means for me. I feel like balance is being present, having gratitude, and really just having peace within yourself. I feel like once you find that balance, that's what you experience. And despite the ups and downs, you'll have that peace. You'll know who you are. You'll be able to stand the course of the journey. You know, it won't seem so much like torture, but more like bliss, more like presence. And even if it doesn't feel good, you know exactly who you are and that you can return to the present moment. You know, you're not going bonkers or insane or whatever. So yeah, that's pretty much what inner balance means for me. And I feel like as we go on with this episode and as I go through life and you go through life as well, you'll be able to get more clear on what that is for you. I think it's less about the logical or mental thinking of what it is and more of an experience. You know, you have to experience life in order to know what that means. So I can't really say what inner balance is, but I do know that for me, I feel like it's peace, it's knowing who you are, and it takes you actually going about life in this journey, experiencing your everyday life in order to really know what that means. You know, there's a difference between thinking about it and believing it and grasping for some future moment to complete you and actually experiencing that for yourself, being complete, being whole, um, gaining that wisdom and finding out for yourself. So I guess we shall see. But I know that it's really important to have that inner balance, even though I may not be clear on it or, you know, we're still learning what that looks like, what that feels like and what that means. I know it's key and I know it's important. You probably experienced the dark. You probably experienced the bad times, but there's also the other side, which is good. And maybe you haven't experienced much of that. And maybe with this balance, you can see both sides. Because maybe from your perspective, you only see the negative. But as you go through life, as you learn about yourself, as you grow and mature and really take time to go within, you can start to balance out these aspects of yourself. You know, if you're totally looking at the bad and the negative and that's all you know, you can start to change the way you look at life as you experience it and welcome in um, more good, more light, you know, and then find a balance to where you're not totally ignoring the negative. Um, but you're also focused on the positive too. And I was just speaking on this today in another video, I believe, where I was saying you want to focus on the positive, focus on the positive, but you also don't want to ignore the negative. And so I think when we're looking at balance, it is all about that. You see the positive, but you don't know, you, you know, you don't <laughs> get your words out. You don't ignore the negative either. You see the good for what it is. You see the bad for what it is. And you just say it is what it is. And that's truly what I feel like balance is, is you're not in favor of either or, but you see both and you stay grounded in the fact that neither defines you. Your achievements, the good things you do and the things that you deem to be good, that doesn't define who you are because you're also going to have these negative moments in these times where you feel down and things aren't going as you plan, um, you know, but the negative, the positive doesn't define who you are. It's just all a part of your experience. It's all a part of you learning who you are on this journey called life. You know, you can't let these things define you, but you can experience them, fully process them. And in the midst of that, embody who you truly are, embody this balance and see it for what it is. And I think that's that's truly where balance can lead you. It's just seeing from a broader perspective, you know, seeing the bigger picture and not allowing yourself to be stuck in this box where you only see this and that dark and light, black and white. 
you see it from a zoomed out lens, you know, you're able to see that, okay, these are things that I'm experiencing. This is the way that I'm judging my experiences, but it's not who I am at my core. You know, um, it's part of the experience, you know, it's a small part of me, but it's not all that I am. And I feel like with balance, then maybe you'll be able to see that more and more and then hold it. You know what I'm saying? Hold it, um, not attached to anything, but be detached and be able to see things for what they are more clearly. And when I say hold it, I mean, be grounded in that knowing. And I feel like that's what balance is all about. But yeah, I definitely wanted to ease into this first episode, kind of throwing out my ideas and, you know, looking at what does that mean? Because honestly, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm still learning. Everything that I've just said is just things that I've learned thus far, but I feel like there's just so much more. As long as you're breathing, as long as you're alive, you know, on this planet here and now, there's so much more to learn. And the things that you learn and the knowledge and wisdom that you gain along the way, I feel like they're all just pieces of this bigger puzzle. And so the things that I'm sharing now, yeah, that's, that's, you know, from my experience and what I'm learning and what I know now, but who knows what will happen an hour from now or a day from now, or, you know what I'm saying? A year from now, there's so much to learn on this journey called life. And so that's exactly what I'm going to share and feel free to do the same. You know, we're all learning and we can do so together as I always say, because you truly aren't alone even though you feel like it. I feel like it sometimes too. Just the other day, I felt like, oh my goodness, I must be the only human being on this planet experiencing this and I'm tired of it. You know, we get tired, but really we're all just little bitty specks in an infinite universe here together, you know? And so there's so much oneness, even though it feels like we're so separate from everything, from everyone, from ourselves, from God, from the universe, you know, we're really all in this together, like high school musical. So as I learn, as I go, I will definitely share that. And hopefully I will have more of wisdom and knowledge when it comes to inner balance, because I'm learning that, but I can only kind of, you know, go based off what I've learned thus far. I'm so excited for season two and what I'll learn along the way and what you'll learn and what we can share and um, experience together. But definitely focusing on the journey within because it starts within and focusing on mental, emotional and spiritual well-being. Because that's our inner world. You know, the things we can't see mentally, your thoughts and things that you're thinking and what you have going in going on in your head, it's unseen. It's unseen world. It's those things that you can't, you know, really do anything with as far as your five senses, you know, senses, you can't smell, touch it, see it, but it's happening within you. Same thing emotionally, you know, your emotions and your feelings, you can't see it, you can't touch it, you can't grasp it. Half the time it doesn't make sense, but it's happening. You're experiencing it. It's happening within you. Um, And so, yeah, as as well as spiritual. So mental, emotional, spiritual, those are the aspects and things that I will be covering in season two, all the things that are unseen, but definitely experienced and definitely felt within yourself. It's important. I feel like sometimes we can get stuck on the physical things, um, you know, the things we can see, touch, smell, our finances, the people in our lives, ourselves and our ego and these different things that are happening in our outside world, which can be amazing and horrible, you know. It can be both. Sometimes we can get stuck so much in this physical world and just forget that there's so much happening that we don't see, but we experience it every every day, you know, and you may not be able to explain it. You know, it may be hard to put into words. I totally get that, but it's worth looking at. You know, we see so much outside, but what about inside? When do you ever sit down and truly look at your inner world or sit with yourself and fill it through? So yeah, There's so much. There's the outside and there's the inside. There's the dark, there's the light, there's this, there's that, the good and the bad, the duality. But where is the balance? So definitely want to start with the inner balance because like I said, everything within you um, is also reflected in the outer world. It works together. And so I think starting within yourself and looking at inside the inner world, finding balance there is the key. So 
we'll definitely see how this goes. I'm so excited for season two. And thank you so much for joining me in this episode. I know it was more of explaining kind of what is going to be coming up and inner balance, but I just want to touch base and kind of welcome that theme and that topic because there's going to be some really exciting things that I touch base on. Um, and each episode is going to be something different, like I said, pertaining to mental, spiritual, or emotional well-being and life in this journey, but really looking at the inside. So you definitely have to stay tuned for what's coming season two. Um, just like you don't know, I don't really know either, but we're going to see along the way. And I know the episodes are going to be amazing and there will be plenty of um, tips and advice and just, you know, opinions shared and perspectives and things that I'm sure will be helpful for not only me, but you. So definitely stay tuned for season two. Thank you so much for um, tuning in to episode one, to this first episode of getting things off the ground and, you know, being here in this new season, spring. There's so much to look forward to. So yeah, don't forget that there's a free 15 minute guided meditation for deep relaxation in the comments below. So definitely click that link, type in your email and you'll have a free 15 minute meditation. I also have so much other content that you can check out. So definitely do that. Subscribe to the channel, like this video. Um, and yeah, comment below what you think, what you're ready to hear from this channel, what you're ready to see in your life and what you think about this theme of the journey to inner balance, you know, what's your take on it? Let me know what you think. And yeah, remember, it is not about perfection, but committing to expansion. Have a transformed perspective.